like for aircraft industry it's very very strict uh, that you follow some procedure and your models will be very very accurate uh, that is something that i'm very excited for and i'm looking forward to it right Good morning everyone, so it's almost 7 a.m. now and by almost 7 a.m. I mean I set my alarm uh, for 7 a.m. but it, it always happens with me, I don't know if anyone else also faces this thing like if I set an alarm for a time like for say today I set an alarm for 7 a.m. then usually I don't know unconsciously or something I, I just <laughs> wake up just before 7 I don't need the alarm to wake me up like uh, today I woke up at 6.55 or something like that so it's uh, I'm always curious about it oh, let me know if you guys also face this same situation This laptop has been given from the institute itself. Uh, I think it's latitude seven something. Yeah, latitude seven four three zero. It's pretty good. I have to carry this along and also these three things that I also got from the institute. I have to carry this along as well. So by the way, I don't do any breakfast, so I always skip the breakfast. And yeah, let's go. And it's around 20 minutes walk from my place to the institute. So on the right side, uh, these buildings are from B2 Cottbus and yeah, I've heard that it's uh, quite a good university. And to reach my institute, it takes around more 3 more minutes from here now.
so my laptop has been set up now and yeah and this is my window view from the office so I am right now working on a propeller model right so these are the propeller of a aircraft so what a propeller does is it uh, produces the thrust and for the force that moves the aircraft forward right so this is how the room looks like so let's start with some work now So this section is a different different department of our institute. It's the department of component technologies. And now I'm going towards the office kitchen. So this is a new building and it's still under construction and on the front here they are also making a kind of park here right there. So these are some of the concept aircrafts designed by DLR right. And I can also show you guys the aircraft on which I'm working. So the name of the aircraft is Dornier 228. It's a pretty old aircraft built in 80s or 90s. Yeah. It was manufactured in Germany here. And looks something like this. And there should be a DLR website regarding this. I think so. Here it is. So this is the exit aircraft on which I'm working. And you can see the details here. I'll give the link in the description as well. So I just came out of the seminar room and this is what I see. I even don't know what this man is doing here with the parachute. Who knows? He might be a spy. Anyways, we should be going back to our work now, right? So let's go. I'm getting a little bored now, so So 
so what i'm currently doing is uh, running some test functions like doing this testing of my code that i have written for the propeller design like for aircraft industry it's very very strict uh, that you follow some procedure and your model should be very very accurate and there should not be any yeah there should not be any kind of silly mistakes so that it would uh, re give a different predi prediction or a wrong prediction so for that and also for getting a license for before before you can commercially apply the aircraft or like run the aircraft you have to get a lot of license so for these requirements we have to do the test like very firmly so yeah i have created two tests and i am writing them now the code has been implemented and i Thing, yeah. yeah and they are fine now So the second test that I'm doing right now is like comparing the results from the code generated and com with the uh, results like from analytical calculation like hand coded calculation that I've done here. I have did a lot of simplification so that the analytical solution would be easier for me and then the result from code would be compared to this analytical result so that we can be sure that there are not any kind of formula mistakes or i have implemented some loop incorrectly or something like that
So today's tests were successful and fine, but I also want to let you guys know that this might not be the case every time. There might be always some kind of bugs, some mistakes that you have done, and sometimes you have to maybe rethink the whole idea, and that's fine. So after this propeller model is ready in the software, our next task would be to do a real-time simulation for this. By real-time simulation, I mean we'll be doing a hardware interloop testing and running through it. So we'll be having this real propeller hardware inside a loop and we'll be doing some kind of testing, some validation and simulation, right? And we'll be, we might be also collecting some data from it. And yeah, that is something that I'm very excited for and I'm looking forward to it, right? And I'm also thinking to make a video uh, regarding this in a later time. So do consider subscribing this channel for the later videos. So if you guys have any doubts or you want to know something more about this, then you can also reach me out here as well. So normally at this time I used to cook my food but today I have got some dinner plans so I'll be going out now and yeah that's a day in my life right now and yeah see ya and take care.